Welcome, this is the Tennessee End of Course Algebra 1 Practice Test number 3, question number 13. The question says, what are the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment with endpoints 9, 2, negative 5, and 0? So in this situation, I would have something along the lines of uh, 9 and 2. So if I were to do this sort of whole graphy thing here, and then uh, negative 5 and 0. So kind of that area. They want to know what the midpoint of it is. Now I'm going to use the formulas page because you know you have it so why wouldn't you use it? I'm going to try to guess here so if I miss the formulas page I may have to come back. Uh, I'm going to guess it's around page 5 of a packet and I was way off so it was not page 4 it's page 3 so it wasn't that far off. So there's my midpoint formula right there. X1 uh, plus x of 2 over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. And that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. What they're really doing is taking the two x values and they're averaging them together. And then they do the same thing for the y and the average of those two things should be you know, the middle. So let's take our data and sort of plug it in. If you don't know the x1, x2 thing, the numbers that are subscript, which means they're underneath the letters, are actually just labels. So I could label these if I want. This is the x, this is the y, this is the x, this is the y, this is the second group, this is the first group. It makes it really easy to mark everything up. So I would do 9 plus negative 5 over 2, and the y value would be 2 plus 0 over 2. So if I do 9 plus negative 5, that's the same as 9 minus 5, so I end up with 4 over 2, and 2 plus 0 is uh, 2, of course. So I'm going to reduce these down, and I get 2 and 1. So my final answer for number 13 is D. Now, you may have been able to do that in seconds. I'm sure you can figure out other ways to do it. But if you're struggling on the test day when you get to that kind of question, use the formulas page. I mean, sometimes you can just come up with the answer based on what's there, even if you weren't 100% sure how to do it in the beginning. So that's my little commercial for the formulas page.